Hi everybody and welcome to DID with me. I'm Kit and today we are going to be talking about how switching works for us and what that means for each individual system member and the different ways that we can all cooperate and function together. So first we're going to talk about how switching works for us. So for us, when one of us switches out, we can have one person who's in the front, think of it like a car, and they're driving the car, okay? They're the driver. And another one of us, like say me, I could be sitting in the passenger seat if someone else is out. And that means that I can see and hear, but I can't control what's going on. Or I could be in the back seat where I can still maybe see what's going on a little, but I'm not fully aware and I'm not really capable of doing anything. I might be able to say something here or there to the person in the front if we're in communication, but there's not really a lot that I can do. Or I could be, say, asleep in the trunk. That means I have absolutely no idea what's going on and I am completely and totally without memory when I come back of anything that's happened. And the only way that I know what's been going on is if the person who is in the front chooses to tell me. Well, there's also some other options. We can have what's called co-fronting. That's when you have two different people who are simultaneously driving the body. They're both controlling different parts of it. There can even be more than two people co-fronting, but usually two is enough of a strain for us that we don't do more than that. So you have these people and they're both controlling different aspects of what our body is doing. And then another option is what's called co-consciousness. Like right now, I'm co-conscious with a couple of different system members who are going to talk to you during different periods in this video when they choose to be out here because we've already discussed that they want to be out here for this video. And when I'm co-conscious, that means that we're all aware at the same time and we can communicate with each other and we're all completely present even if only one of us is out meaning the person who's talking to you right now me but the others are not necessarily all always co-conscious with me there are still plenty of members of our system that i'm not really in communication with and so I don't have that co-consciousness with them. The co-consciousness has mostly come from therapy and a lot of work. It took a long time. And now, um, oh, sorry, feeling a little switchy at the moment because one of the others, Marie, she wants to she wants to talk to you guys a little bit about what uh being out is like for her uh. hi so i'm marie and when i'm out because i'm younger than our body i'm like 21. i used to be 18 but i grew up because i dealt with some stuff i guess i don't know but when I'm out, we have like a lot of energy because I have a lot of energy and I can stay up like really late, but Kit can't really do that. So like we've had to work it out where I can go to bed earlier a little bit for him so that when he has to get up, he's not like a zombie in the morning. And it's like so different for me because like he'll get headaches sometimes from like switching and I never get any headaches or anything like that. I don't really have that problem. Like I'm just fine. It's just normal and okay for me. And like I don't come out all the time anymore but um I used to like come out a lot because I was, I guess, what they call a persecutor. I mean, my job was basically to, like, keep us safe, but I did that by being kind of an awful person a lot of the time, like,
putting us in bad situations and like drinking and doing drugs and having sex with lots of people is it was really is really kind of not not really great I mean like I've had to work really hard on that and I actually used to have a different name but like I changed it because I wanted to like show that I was different and that I wasn't like all hateful and angry and mean anymore so like what I did is I got my new name and then my job was to handle certain stuff with sex because Kit was like super not comfortable with that and like as he's talked to um like his therapist person whatever her name is I don't remember but when he would talk to her like he was able to work through some of that stuff and then that didn't have to be my job anymore so I didn't have to switch out for that anymore and instead now my job is like helping everybody else in here to like deal with different stuff about like needing friends or feeling alone or like I basically handle stress like that's now my job like instead of handling stress because of like sex and stuff now I just handle like stress stress so like if Kit or somebody else is feeling like really stressed I'll take that and like deal with it and then I'll be out but like for me a switch is pretty easy because I'm just like here it, it doesn't really feel any different to me and I mean like I know our body looks one way but like to me I'm just me and our body is just a body I mean it's not it's not mine it's not me but it's not really a big deal to me to switch and I'm pretty much always aware of what's going on like there's not very many people in our group that I don't know what they're doing if they're out here but like there's plenty of people that Kit's like gone and doesn't have any idea but yeah that's basically what it's like for us when we switch and I mean I'm like co-conscious I guess is the word you use with him a lot because I handle stress so like anytime he gets stressed I'm like right there to help and then we have other people who do other different stuff but yeah it's basically it I mean I handle stress I mean it's my job so I never have that problem of having to be like the person like who's not aware because like I'm always aware really for the most part with anybody but yeah I guess it's like super different for each of us so yeah I guess that's it. Mm. Uh, hi guys, I'm back. My head hurts. So that happens a lot with switching. I'll get a headache like right here in between my eyes. Um, switching is a super weird feeling for me. The best way I could describe it is it feels like half of my face is sliding down and it's it's really awkward and uncomfortable the whole world kind of tilts and spins and I feel really tired and dizzy and it feels like there's a big pressure inside my head that's pushing outwards and then the actual switch when that happens it's the best way I could describe it is, you know that feeling when you have pressure in your ears and your ears pop? It feels kind of like that, only rushing across my brain is the best way I could describe it. And then suddenly I'm not the one in the front anymore. So it's really pretty interesting, but not everybody experiences it like I do. Like Marie was just saying, she told me that, uh, she doesn't really have that kind of problem. She just shows up and it's not a big deal. 
Well, for me, it's a lot harder to transition out because I feel like this body is mine. It feels like me. So to me, it's really very, very different. But I hope that gives you guys some good insight into what switching is like for us and the different ways that people can be present. And I hope that you really enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified when other videos are going to come out, please hit that little notification bell. And I hope everybody has a good day. Bye.